Hello and welcome to this video about the Ecosphere in a jar that we have set up almost half a year ago. An Ecosphere or closed ecosystem is a self-sustaining environment that contains a variety of living organisms that interact with each other and their surroundings. Our Ecosphere is contained within a jar and over the past 6 months we have been able to witness the incredible interplay of life within this small enclosed space. Creating an ecosystem in a jar is a fun and educational project that can teach you about the interdependence of living things and how they interact with each other and their environment. It's one of the easiest things you can do, you should try it yourself. Up first you need to choose a jar with a tight fitting lid, but you can also use a plastic bottle or a container as long as it has a tight fitting lid. There are a ton of possibilities you can use to create an ecosystem. So when you have chosen a jar or bottle or container, you need to find a place to, well, scoop up a part of the planet's ecosystem. You may think that the puddle in your backyard doesn't really contain much life, but let me tell you, you will be surprised to find out how much life there actually is in there. You can create an ecosystem using water, but you can also try a dry ecosystem, with just a scoop of dirt and some plant matter. Soon you'll see fungus, mold and other things appear in the jar. You will need to provide the necessary conditions for the organisms to survive, such as water, oxygen and nutrients. You can add soil, rocks and plants to provide the habitat for the larger organisms and introduce the microorganisms through compost or other organic matter. But really, you don't have to put in much thought. I just scooped up some water, plant matter and called it a day. By following these steps you can create your own self-sustaining ecosystem in a jar and learn more about the incredible interplay of life. One of the most interesting aspects of our ecosystem has been the presence of microorganisms and bacteria. These tiny creatures, often not even visible to the human eye, play a vital role in the ecosystem, serving as decomposers to break down organic matter and provide nutrients for other organisms. We were able to introduce a variety of these microorganisms into the jar when we set it up, and it has been fascinating to watch as they have been flourishing and playing their part in the ecosystem. In addition to the microorganisms, we also have some algae growing within the jar. Now there's one key aspect to why this algae is thriving in this ecosystem. Algae can produce their own food through photosynthesis. They do this by using the light from the sun or an artificial LED light and turn that into food. They are an important part of many ecosystems, providing oxygen and serving as a food source for other organisms. We were able to introduce the algae into our ecosphere through a process called spore germination. This involves introducing the spores or seeds of the algae into the jar and providing the necessary conditions for them to germinate and grow. The algae was added unintentionally, but well, algae spores are everywhere. Just fill up a glass of rainwater, put a light above it for a few days and see what happens. The presence of both microorganisms and algae in our ecosphere highlights the interdependence of different living things within an ecosystem. The microorganisms break down organic matter, providing nutrients for the algae to grow. The algae in turn produces oxygen through photosynthesis, which the microorganisms and any other organisms in the jar rely on to survive. It is a delicate balance, but one that has been maintained within the jar for the past 6 months. The lifespan of an ecosphere in a jar can vary greatly depending on the specific organisms and conditions within the jar. Some ecospheres may only survive for a few months, while others can last for several years. The oldest known ecosystem in the world belongs to David Latimer from the United Kingdom. His enclosed ecosystem is over 60 years old. In 1960 David got curious and decided to plant a glass bottle with seeds. He would have never guessed it would turn into a beautiful case study of a self-sustaining sealed ecosystem that has been called the world's oldest terrarium. In fact, after all these years, David's sealed bottle garden is still thriving and robust, with thriving plant life despite not watering it since 1972. As we continue to observe our ecosphere, we are constantly amazed by the resilience and adaptability of life. It's a small enclosed space, but it's teeming with life and serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. 
We hope that this video has given you a better understanding of the amazing world of ecospheres and the life within them. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.